When you transport waste or product in a bulk tanker, cleaning residue from the inside of the tank is important, especially if you want to avoid cross-contamination on your next pickup. To show you how we eliminate the risk of cross-contamination, we're taking you on a tour of our chemical tank wash operation. You'll see we have the right equipment, like the boiler in front of us that has detergent capability, caustic wash, as well as hot water and cold water flushes. But what makes our tank wash unique is the man running it. Jake is exceptional. He's detail-oriented and treats every trailer as if his product will be carried in it. You can tell he understands the financial impact cross-contamination would have on our clients and takes every step to eliminate it. And besides pursuing graduate studies, he's also a veteran. So it's time for you to meet Jake and learn about our tank wash process. He was in the service for like eight years, overseas and served in Afghanistan. That's what makes him extremely unique and kind of molded his work ethic. And uh, I believe that's why he can get so much done. This is Joe Demetri, our marketing Jake, manager. Nice to meet you, man. This is Jake Barnes, our tank wash coordinator, Joe. He's uh, he's pretty much got this thing completely under control over here. He's running the entire bay by himself. Um, if you want him to describe any processes that he's doing. You bet we do. I'm going to have Jake describe the processes that he's doing so you can fully understand and appreciate our tank wash operation. This is a newer product, so I took a sample and did some bench testing with our chemicals and stuff to see what the what type of wash needs to be done. And I determined that and now I'm going to drop it in the cork and I'll begin the wash process. First I'll do a, a hot flush to get out whatever residue is left, followed up by a detergent and a flush again. tanker to get the excess residue out. So right now you see the combination of hot water and whatever product was in there. Big plus to the water. Turn off the hot water and then I'll hook up the hose. And the reason why I got this one grounded is because this chemical, once water is added to it, it becomes flammable. I'm going to start the detergent flush. This is a recycling system. Our caustic and detergent recycles. We tend to use it for about 30 or 40 washes and then we have to replace it. This will probably run for about 15 minutes and then I'll flush it again and dry it and it'll be complete. It's kind of hard when it's detergent wash because then as the uh, detergent agitates it gets really sudsy. tanker is clean and it's already back on the road. Jake grabs his paperwork and prepares the next tanker to be cleaned. We look forward to helping you eliminate the risk of cross-contamination with our tank wash program and we hope to hear from you soon.